And as the lawmakers were busy finding a solution to the suspension of the microblogging site, the country director, Action Aid Nigeria, NLB, urged the Nigerian government to rescind its decision on the ban on Twitter as it has a huge impact not only on the lives of emerging young entrepreneurs who depend on social media, but indeed everyone. She says it's also a counterproductive move for a nation seeking to create more jobs and reduce poverty as part of its post-COVID-19 recovery strategy. Celestina Iria reports. In the last 12 months, youth in Nigeria have been engaged in youth digital engagement. This initiative seeks to use technology to support youth in holding duty bearers to account by analyzing data, present evidence, and lead their communities in taking action through the use of digital tools. Today, a report by the Youth Digital Engagement Project was launched. This project was in partnership with the Gombe State Youth Parliament, African Human Development Centre in Akwaibom, and the Centre for Information Technology and Development in the FCT. Findings from the report show that in Gombe State, three out of ten persons with disabilities surveyed expressed that their welfare was severely affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. In Akwaibom State, eight out of ten, while in FCT, seven out of ten. In Akwaibom, two out of five girls are out of school, while one out of five boys are out of school. In the FCT, three out of five girls are out of school, while two out of five boys are out of school. Speaking on the importance of youth engagement and the use of social media as a viable tool, Country Director of Action 8 noted that a ban on Twitter by the federal government will increase the unemployment rates in the country as most youths conduct their businesses legitimately on Twitter. The youth population, which is more than 62%, is a blessing. It's an engine room for development, and we need to develop. We, whether it's somebody, a young pe people, they are from Igbo, they are from Yoruba, they are from uh, Hausa, they are from um, uh, the far north of Birom or, or from Agatu, they are all children of Nigeria. A person in the communities is also low as only 2 in 10 persons. That is... 24.2% of the respondents agreed that they could operate a computer. The population of the state and the population per density, a total of 2,386 respondents were identified as the target sample size. This report and its findings will be taken to the National Assembly and the relevant government agencies to ensure action is taken on relevant issues raised. Projects like this is to encourage youth both online and offline to gather data on thematic issues like financial, economical, social and political. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.